So I got called out to this apartment. Uh, apparently they had lost all their lights. They don't have any lights in the apartment and about half of their outlets uh, were not working. Uh, so I get there, ask a bunch of questions, um, find out what they had turned on. Um, I ask them if they smelled anything um, funny or odd. Uh, and then um, I went outside and checked the circuit breaker, uh, which is basically routine um, when I don't know where the problem is at. So I checked the circuit breaker and sure enough it's tripped. Uh, after uh, resetting it a couple of times, I find that the breaker remains tripped and then did a simple test to see if the breaker uh, was good or bad. So this is how you test a circuit breaker that keeps tripping. Off and then on and it trips. Off, on and it trips. We're gonna find out where the problem is right now. We're gonna disconnect this wire here. If the breaker resets, the breaker is okay, circuit's bad. If the breaker won't reset, then the breaker is bad. So there, disconnect our wire. Reset the breaker so the breaker's okay and the problem is in the circuit. It's in the house somewhere. And I found out that the uh, problem was in the house or in the circuit somewhere. So uh, what I did is I go back in, uh, look around, and I just made a few educated guesses uh, and looked at a few of the devices and uh, I found what I think was the problem. Um, after that, um, I... Pulled the, pulled the outlet out that uh, looked like it was uh, burned out and it barely had cracked in half actually. I'm not sure why, maybe they're kicking it or something, I don't know. Um, I removed the outlet from the circuit. Uh, there was some wires that were shorted out, melting inside there. Um, and then uh, basically I just took the device out of the circuit altogether, rewired it and tested the breaker again. And sure enough, uh, the circuit worked again. Let's test this thing. Boom. So this is just a quick lesson in how to uh, check your circuit breaker if you have a circuit breaker that's tripping to determine if it's the breaker or if it's a problem in the circuit. So this is a common thing. Uh, actually any homeowner can do this test. It's not difficult and it will tell you, uh, it'll give you a better idea of where the problem is. I mean, if you need to replace a circuit breaker, that's easy enough to do. Uh, or if the problem is in the circuit, it'll let you know it's in the circuit and not the breaker. So it's just information that's going to help you find out where your problem is if you have a breaker that's tripping. So pretty easy stuff and hope this one helps.